as you can see, I've gone for a BMW 528i, and on the internet, it looked fantastic. But I've uh, now had the chance to examine it more closely, and one or two things are giving me cause for concern. For example, it's got a manual gearbox. Now, that tells me the previous owner was the sort of chap that likes to take it to the max between gear changes. Secondly, the front tyres are Pirelli's, the back tyres are made by a company I've never heard of. So that tells me it's been run on a tight budget. Ooh, hang on, that is the throb of a turbocharged flat four engine. A sound which all over the world heralds the imminent arrival of a moron. And it did here too. It's Richard Hammond, everybody, who I suspect has started to dye his hair. See what you think. But you're going to look stupid doing it. I don't have to look. You've turned... I know I'm wearing double denim, and that is a mistake, but you've got that tarry trousers on and the wheels of the Agrion. Uh -huh. It actually looks a bit like you. What? You know, small and with a sort of surprised expression. A tree! Yeah, do you think when Volvo sat down to design the 850R, they said, now, Africa, we need to try and get some market share over there, so let's lower the suspension and fit very low-profile tyres? They didn't think that in so many was, words, but when you on, design a Volvo, <laughs> you design it for everything. It doesn't it look isn't. at home, does it? Oh, so we're Livingston, Burton and Speak. Yeah, yes, we are. and I have the right car. Oh, come on, for exploring. Roman legions. Arab traders, the Victorian British, all have forged a path through the vast heat of this awe-inspiring continent to find where the raging torrent came from. And today we would join that illustrious band of brothers. We would take up the challenge, no matter what the perils, no matter what the hardships, no matter what... I'm sorry to interrupt myself, but I think we have a problem. Um, we found it. This is not the source of the Nile. Well, it is. The source of the Nile is still disputed. The Victorians thought it was Lake Victoria, but today we know this huge body of water is fed by many rivers. One of them is the true source. And even today, in 2012, experts have not been able to determine which it is. You will. Well, it's got quite a sticky throttle, but other than that, every single thing works, even the air conditioning. I've never, ever had a car with working air conditioning before on one of these trips, but I have now, and it is joyous. Everything works, except the air conditioning. A couple of rules you need to know, really, about Uganda if you're coming here. Number one, if you're a male homosexual and you indulge in your uh, homosexuality, it's life imprisonment, that's very important to know. Also, it is compulsory here for motorcyclists to wear crash helmets. Unless you are a woman on your way back from the hairdressers, then you are allowed to wear a carrier bag on your head instead. At this point, the producers told us to stop off at the still bullet-scarred Entebbe Airport. I couldn't be Israeli Special Forces. You were that arrested. Well, I'm it's done too, I'm exhausted. They'd have been all sitting there thinking, oh, help, here comes help, and then... <laughs> Sorry, just give us five. That's full throttle. It's revving, slightly, but not. I'm not doing it. Jeremy broke out his vast and sophisticated toolkit. What else is electrical in here? Well, not the, the exhaust, exhaust manifold. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the fuse box, if that's what that is. is that that's an air filter.